Hello friends, I am Hardik Patel. Welcome back to Python tutorial for beginners. So today I am going to cover string and function of them. So let's start. So in string, uh, let's uh, start with special operators available for string. Like let's before that start our Python. Okay. So let's create one string that is uh, s is equal to Okay, this is my string. How are you? Or let's make a difference a little bit. How are you? Hardik. Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so what is operators I am talking about? That first, as uh, like let's for example Hardik in S. Yes, it is giving true because Hardik is in S. How are you Hardik? Hardik is available in that S string, right? So that is operator. You can you can also use uh, is not in not in, right? So this is giving us false. So these both are now operators. Another is like uh, let's work on another is like star. Okay, I have string of star and I want to print. 20 times star then l multiplied by 20 see like that also you can use this l star this is multiplication operator is available assignment is like that uh, like multiply by is equal to 20 also will give you the same answer but it will assign to the l so that is you can assignment operator right so also uh, whatever operators we have learned about that assignment operators plus that conditional operators all can be used with this string Ex except divide division and uh, except uh, modulo like that which are only number specific functions number specific operators so those are you cannot use here in string okay so these are the operators now escape characters so what is escape characters let's say for example i want to write a string uh, let's say for example it's a paragraph and in that i have four lines and I, how, how can i divide them into the lines so that is called slash n slash n is an escape character and all escape character can be uh, written like this uh, l uh, let's say for example, paragraph paragraph is equal to hardik then slash n then patel so what it will do that hardik will print and then patel will be printed in the second line so let's do that p right so not that is doing here because this is just a string for python but when you render but when you render it in a html or somewhere it can understand that is second line patel is my second line let's say for example p dot split lines it will give you two lines in a list hardik is my first line and parallel is my second line right so that's how you can uh, use this uh, paragraph using escape character similar to the slash n is also one more is uh, slash t that is for uh, this is slash t is for tab similar to that r is for hidden carriage then b is for backspace s for space there are few more are available you can read about them in official documentation but what i have, i want to uh, explain here that this kind of escape characters you can use in your string to have special uh, special facility like this is new lines or return carriage or if you want to apply space then tab tab directly you cannot use right you can use you can use multiple spaces like four spaces you can use uh, add and it will look like a tab but it is not a tab but if you want to add tab between two uh, particular value then you have to use the slash t that is how you can do that right so those are special characters now one more thing is that formatting so if you have a string and you if you want to make it dynamic like whatever variable comes in uh, from the previous statements and you want to make string on, uh, 
according to that values right so let's say for example my, uh, first uh, let's say for example a string is equal to here percentage sorry age of percentage s is percentage d okay now percentage is another uh, special operator not a special operator it's a format uh, symbol right and where you can use just like uh, i have used two things in a previous string before this uh, in a double quotes age of percentage as is percentage d right so there are two so i have to assign two values here and that is percent age is in my name name and then but i haven't uh, created any variable so i will do directly like that hardik and then age is 27 okay and just i will enter and it will assign into the s age of hardik is 27 right this, this is just for exemplary okay so that's how you can format and similar to the f percentage as and percentage d percentage as is for string percentage d is for uh, integer values then percentage f is for float values similar to that uh, percentage uh, e for exponential values like it will give you this e in a small character like that and uh, <clears throat> and also percentage uh, what can i say that percentage there are many available uh, on, on assigned characters uh, sorry percentage c for uh, character values if you want to have only one character right so there are few more available also you can see and you can also when, when you will start using them you will find more and more it has a limit not this is not unlimited but this is limited but you will know more uh, while you are going to work on this python uh, any application okay so these are just uh, formatting that's how you can do and another way is also formatting that uh, like s is equal to age of and then here percentage 0 is percentage 1 like this this is my one string and dot format is a method of string so you can see here whenever you so write something in a double quote inside two double quotes that is string and string has a format method available and inside that just you need to give two values similar to this right so zero and one that means positional arguments are given here if i will write here uh, like zero here and one here then i have to give here plus uh, first 70 and then hardly why because 0 is 27 and 1 is Hardik and what I have done age of 1 is 0 so what is age of 1 is Hardik is 0 is 27 and let's try that and let's print again as and it will give the same answer age of Hardik is 27 so that's how you can format strings and two uh, you can generate dynamic strings using two, these two methods right so that is how you can do that and let's uh, quickly talk about a few methods are available uh, there are many methods are available but i will talk about few methods only so that is again as uh, this is my string as dot uh, you can use split when i do the split it will give me the all the uh, words in our list because split method takes uh, space as a default character to split all the words but if i give a special character like underscore then it will me it will give me only one because there is no underscore that's why it is not splitting anywhere and it will give me whole value as a first value of the string right list so this is one let's do quickly that starts with if you have any if you want to check uh, coming values are starting from any character like this is a right so let's do quickly by is st uh, string is starting uh, starting with a then it will give me true but if if i will write b then it will give me false why because my string is starting with a character 
similar to that ends with also available that ends with and let's quickly see that answer of that yes so b is not the answer 27 so it will give you this if you write 7 then it will give you the true answer because 7 is our last character of the string all right then uh, let's quickly see that i am creating one string and where i am quick up keeping few characters in a preceding and trailing also this is my string and now i want to remove the trailing spaces then what i will do just hash dot uh, strip no no sorry uh, r strip and just enter this so r strip means uh, this is uh, just uh, removing uh, trailing spaces and if you want to remove or remove only leading uh, leading spaces then just use l strip and you can also give the character uh, similar to that uh, split if i want to remove only h let's say for example h okay uh, but it will not remove h because uh, space are also also available okay so let's you can try in your system as well but for now l strip is removing that first and if you want to remove both side spaces then just use string function it will remove both side spaces and will give you the clean string okay now we have already the, uh, look at this plain line split lines where, while i was explaining that slash n character so similar to that this split lines function is also available there are many functions are available you can use like this and just i will show you that quickly in tabs capitalize cap, what capitalize do just uh, whatever the string has let's quickly see that okay uh let me do that as dot three now yes it has now and let me capitalize this h is capital now and what uh, uh, and title method what it does very similar to that title it will do uh, all the first character of all words will be the capitalized so h and p both are capital now similar to that there is one upper method it will do all the characters in us capital and lower similar to that it will give the answer and there are many more conditionals are available like uh, let me show you quickly is in uh, you can get the index of any specific value like uh, i want to see the index of pat pet then it will give me the answer like this pet sorry uh, you need to give the in a double quote see this is seventh at the seventh place the pet is start that is going to start similar to that find is also do the same but what's the difference between find and index index give you answer if that value is available otherwise it will give you the answer like this particular value is not available it will raise the error but find doesn't give any error like this it will give the minus one minus one means that given string is not available in particular actual uh, original string right so as dot is and tab let's see quickly is alpha that means all the characters are characters uh, like alpha alphabeticals alphabetics then there is one more function each digit that means if you want to check the given string is completely number or it has any special character any character alphabetic or something then it will give you the answer of uh, two and false Th this all is alpha is decimal is tz it is identify is lower this all uh, starting with is give you the true false answer just checking something that string is that or not not like that so that's how you can use the string functions and uh, you can work with the strings very easily now so if you have any more questions please come uh, uh, ask those questions in a comment section and if you have liked this video please subscribe my channel thank you for watching